Have you ever struggled with procrastination? Maybe knowing there's something you need to do and putting it off for another time? Yet it's something that's really important to you. Well, that was my message this week. And I wanna share with you my story. And then I wanna share with you the tool that I use that is super memorable for bringing awareness to these areas of procrastination in our life in a very new and unique way. So the story goes like this. Sunday night, I was sitting down with my pen and my journal and asking life for a message for the week that became my Monday mirror message. And the message that I received was this. It is step into the light to see the shadow you hide from. A blessing will then enter your life and restore a wound to wellness. Well, it was a very interesting message that I received. And honestly, it was quite dark. So I didn't want, I didn't really know if I wanted to find out the meaning of this message, but it played on my mind all day on Monday. And by the time I got home, I was exhausted. And I sat in my bed with my pen and my journal. And I thought, okay, I got to post this. It's Monday. And I ended up falling asleep with my pen and my journal in my hand and posting my Monday mirror message on Tuesday morning. So if that's not the epitome of procrastination. There you go. But what was interesting about this is that I started giving more awareness to the message, to what is that dark shadow that if I were to just bring light to might bring a blessing into my life. And I noticed that it had to do around procrastination, that this area of procrastination was not only affecting my Monday mirror message, it was affecting a lot of different areas in my life. So I ended up doing a little bit of research on procrastination and trying to find out if there were any tools out there or something I could be doing better. <laughs> And I came across this blog and I attached the blog down below and you've got to read it. It's a super creative, fun blog that brings really great awareness to the subject. And the gist of the blog was this. They gave an illustration of a person's mind that is a rational decision maker. And I want you for a moment to picture this mind. And in the center of the mind is a man and he's got his hands on the wheel of a ship. And it says, rational decision maker. I make decisions quickly. I am not a child. So you can tell, like, this brain is functioning. This man is in charge of his ship. <laughs> then it shows the picture of a brain of a procrastinator. And I love this image. It's the picture of a brain, the man, his hands on the wheel. And then next to him is this monkey and this monkey is jumping up and down and up and down next to him and he's saying let's play let's play and the author is trying to show that this monkey represents the instant gratification monkey and how it is that instant gratification and instant pleasure can take us away from what it is that we're wanting to accomplish in the morning or in the moment so i thought well that's a really great message but how does it really pertain to me because i I tend to be one of those workaholics where I will work straight on as many hours I need to to get the job done and at the end, I'll reward myself. So I actually work for gratification. So I went to bed that night, woke up in the morning at 3.30 a.m. with this huge epiphany. And what came to me was this picture, a mental picture of a monkey and this monkey was just scatterbrained. This monkey was trying to solve problems and, and, and just running all around. And all of a sudden it hit me that that is my instant gratification monkey. You see, I get massive satisfaction and gratification out of solving problems. So I believe there's a monkey in my brain that likes to create mental issues all day long and have me solve them. Because as I do that, I gain pleasure. Yet, if I spend time entertaining this scatterbrain monkey, then obviously I'm spending time away from what it is that I need to be doing. And it affects my dreams, it affects my career, it affects my family, it affects my health, it affects all these different areas if I am truly procrastinating on what it is I need to do and spending time with that monkey. So I guess the, the awareness that I really wanted to bring with this message is that the instant gratification monkey doesn't always have to look like something that, you know, ice cream or something that deters you at that moment. It actually can be a dark part of our lives that maybe we're not even aware of. You know, it might be the self pity monkey. It might be the holding a grudge against somebody monkey because it makes you feel good. 
Whatever it is in a darker side that brings you pleasure and gratification that is keeping you from what it is that you know will be helpful in changing your life and the things that we do, the actions we do, not playing with this monkey. So my encouragement to you is to name your monkey. Figure out what it is in your life that's keeping you from doing the things that you know are going to create an incredible life because this is the year of dreams and I am just so excited to be sharing these tools that I'm learning with you. So that's our Thursday night thought. Thank you for tuning in and I look forward to sharing our next Thursday night thought together. Have a great week.